All right, what's up guys? Lego here with Dyna Demos, and today I'm gonna be bringing you a few channel updates, so stay tuned. And if you enjoy the video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. So first off, I just wanted to say thank you to all of our subscribers at the time that I'm shooting this video. Uh, we have about 2,500 subscribers, so it's awesome to know that you guys are enjoying what we do because we enjoy making videos. So I just wanted to say thank you. Now, you guys may have noticed that I'm riding solo today. And the reason for that is Rod has finally completely moved to Virginia so what does that mean for the channel well we're still gonna be making videos don't think that's gonna stop uh, we both enjoy it you know it's just something we do in our free time so what we plan on doing is Rod's gonna make videos over here in Virginia and in a few months I'm actually moving back to San Diego so I'm gonna be bringing you guys videos from San Diego uh, I know Rod plans to do a lot of riding over there in Virginia, you know, it's getting close to the winter, so it's going to be cold over there for him. Um, I'm still going to be in North Carolina in the meantime, so it's going to get cold, but out in San Diego, you know, I plan on doing a lot of canyon riding, and we're still going to be bringing you how-tos, you know. That's probably the biggest channel update that I have for you is Dyna Demos is, is uh going to be coast to coast here pretty soon. The second channel update is I finally decided to update my GoPro. Not by choice. Currently right now I'm using a GoPro 5. This is my buddy's. I'm borrowing it because my camera is in the mail. I just ordered a new GoPro 7. So when we are on our road trip, if you guys have been following along, it's on day two right now. But my GoPro decided to crap out right when we got into Tennessee, so right after the Tale of the Dragon. I bought all the stuff for a GoPro 7 setup, but the camera hasn't arrived yet. But luckily, my buddy let me borrow his GoPro 5. So hopefully, the sound on this, you know, because I'm using a new mic and everything, is uh, working. And if you guys like to know my setup, just let me know in the comments and I'll make a video. But yeah, guys, uh, as far as channel update goes, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to continue riding to Rocky Mount, and if you guys want to see what the Black Cat Harley Davidson looks like, just stay tuned. I plan on taking a lot of back roads on my way there, you know, to make the ride a little bit more interesting. So stay tuned, and enjoy the video. This is what it's all about right here, those North Carolina back roads. This is uh, my favorite type of riding out here, is just getting on these like smaller back roads. This is the worst part about riding. Oh look, we're sitting in traffic again. So I've been thinking a lot about what's the next step for my bike. So I'm pretty sure the next thing that I'm gonna do is full suspension. And I'm curious as to what you guys think I should go with for the front and for the rear. But I'll tell you guys what I'm planning on doing. So for the front, I'm planning on doing NYX 22s uh, from Olin's, you know, because the front of this bike, it just has so much dive. When I put on the brake or sometimes I'll try to do like a little baby wheelie and even just hitting bumps, I've bottomed out my suspension completely and I've bent my Moon's M MC light bar bracket, you know? So I'm curious for front suspension what you guys think and then for rear suspension, you know, I'm leaning more towards the RWDs um, or the RS1s, you know, whatever you want to call them, the piggybacks. And the reason for that is Rod has them on his bike and 
you know i rode his i rode his bike and actually just just sitting on it and i could just tell the difference and even sometimes when we're riding i just i'm like man did you feel that bump and he's like what bump like because he just floats over it like nothing like he's just riding on a cloud and i can tell you after this 2100 mile road trip premium suspension is not premium so let me know what you guys thoughts are i'm curious um you know uh olin's i also looked at olin's black line but i think i'm just gonna go with rwds you know because they're a good price for what you're getting you're getting piggyback shocks for around like 850 bucks but let me know what your guys thoughts are on that i'm curious So I just stopped for gas and it made me think of something that I thought was really funny the other day. I don't know if you guys are going to find it funny, but anyways, FXR and Dyna Parts Trader, you know, a lot of people go on there if you got Instagram and it's, it's huge. There's like 60,000 uh, people on it. Anyways, people try to sell their bikes all the time and just the stuff that they put, I find funny sometimes, you know, they try to sell a low rider s for like twenty thousand dollars whatever you know just prices that i seem to find like really high like prices that i think are really high you know uh things like that or just some of the stuff that they put in there they put every part that they ev that they've ever put on there they put how many how much money they've put into the bike things like that right and I'm not trying to be a i'm not trying to be a hater you know or maybe i am i just found it a little bit funny so the dude put in the description of the bike, you know, meticulously maintained, always taking a Harley, blah, 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 all that stuff, which I think that's cool, you know, like people do regular maintenance on their bike. There's nothing wrong with that. That's awesome. Uh, but the guy, he put in there only, only filled up with Chevron and Shell gasoline, 93 only, blah, 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 and it just made me think of like when I was riding through Texas, you know, and Kansas, Nebraska, like those states. Man, I stopped at a gas station that said leaded fuel only. And it just made me think like, bro, where do you ride where like you can always ensure that you're getting the best gas for your bike? like you know i pull up on these gas stations all the time and they'll be in like little towns in the middle of nowhere and i don't care as long as i'm putting like i just try to look for super but if it comes down to it you know i'm not gonna get my bike towed because they don't have a shell or a chevron but that's just my thoughts let me know what you guys think i thought it was funny let's shout out to uh, matt at rebel reaper he sent us out these gloves Still loving them. Touch screen, everything still works flawlessly. So thanks again, Matt. And now I'm behind a cop. How the tables have turned. Alright guys, I'm about a mile away now. Should be coming up here pretty soon. Here it is, Black Cat Harley Davidson. Moto parking only. What's up guys so I was hoping to do a better outro but my GoPro is about to die but check it out I got some 
badass stickers from the dudes here at uh, Black Cat Harley Davidson. Awesome dudes. Um, thank you for the sticker. And I also got a sweet hat. Boom. That's their logo. And it's pretty cool. So I'm going to ride home now. Got about 100 miles. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. And if you guys like the video, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.